Hi YouTuber, this is Jocelyn. At today's video, I will introduce you how to draw and implement proper in your home assistant. I noticed that many people at community have such huge passion on it, but just no idea where to start. So I hope this video could help you indeed. Before we start it, please make sure you already have a way run home assistant in your devices. This video will not cover any guidance on installation or customization. It just focus on footprint itself. So from beginning, you should be clear that the footprint actually is constructed by at least two layers. The base layer is what I show to you right now. It's the rear footprint with fixed furniture, wall, or anything you want to have interaction with later. The devices you control in home assistant such as light, sensor, they all belong to upper layers that need further added in each step. But since the program is named as a pen, so the first thing we need to do is to draw a front pen. I bet many people started to feel nervous about it. Don't worry, I will introduce you some softwares for non-experienced painters. No 3D Max here, no professional tools, just some simple softwares. Okay, the first software I will introduce to you is called eDraw Max. It's a Chinese software, but I think it's a really nice Chinese software. It's a non-free software, but with 30 days test period. I bet within 30 days everyone can make an excellent picture already, so it's not a problem for me. And I have an English version about it. And the best part is that they support any platform, Linux, you can say Windows or even Mac OS. So here I'm using Mac OS and I download the software. Here we go. This is software. At least my rooms from him. The best part of this software is that I have so many samples, actually. If I say new, you can see they have already set up problem for you. So when I link that, and you can just build a room very easily and adjust it. large, small, yeah. Just simple. So you can do anything with it, to be honest. But before we started, I strongly recommend you to set up the page size first. Although, of course, you can adjust it in later steps after import it into Inkscape. But sometimes it will make some distortion. So for me, I suggest that do it at the first step. So just go to the page layout, choose the page size and more page size and choose the cost and size and change the unit to pixel and then set up the pixel you want. Normally I think it's 1920, 1080 or 1280, sometimes it's okay. It all depends on you. For me, it's for HD. Yeah, finish drawing. The final thing you need to do is to export your four pen. Just check the file and choose an export. For base layer, what I mean is the four pen. Actually, there is no format requirement for you. So you can choose any format you like. Just PMG, JPG, they're all fine. We know that the final four pen needs to be SVG, but for base layer, there's no format requirement. But I strongly recommend you to use PMG or SVG because it will make you feel comfortable to import it into Inkscape, the tool we need to use later. Okay, another software I recommend is called Home Design 3 Days. It also a very strong tool to help you design your home or draw the full plan in our cases. It even offers iOS app or Android app 
And of course, it offers software for both PC and Mac. So you can draw your home from your mobile phone or tablet. I think it's quite good. So here is the software itself. As you can see, this software is made especially for home design. So it's kind of a professional tool, but with no entry level. Likely you draw, you can build the room very easily, and you have a such huge directory or library of the furniture. You can see the bed, that's quite amazing. Well, the best part of this software is that it also supports 3D view. We have already seen many nice 3D front in community. I will attach a link below the video. By using this software, you can make your own 3D program quite easily.